Russia has agreed to allow refugees safe passage out of the country. More than a million people have already fled Ukraine and another million have been displaced. For many who stayed in the country, cities are starting to run low on food, medicine and other necessities. Civilians in countries taking in refugees are stepping in to help people who've been displaced. And dozens of organizations are sending aid to Ukrainians and the countries taking them in. One of those organizations is the World Central Kitchen. CEO Nate Muk joins us now from Ukraine. Nate, I believe you are in Lviv. Is that right? Can you tell us a bit about how people are faring there? Sure. I am in the city of Lviv. It's in the western side of Ukraine. And this has become a central hub where refugees from the eastern part of Ukraine are fleeing cities that are under attack. It's mostly been calm here where I am in City Square. We were just at the train station. We're going to be heading back to deliver meal, meals shortly. It's pretty calm. Curfew is coming soon, and there's been air raid sirens really every single day in the evening and in the morning. But this is a city that is preparing right now. It is preparing to be attacked potentially and is preparing for a huge influx of other Ukrainians from other cities coming in needing humanitarian assistance. And that's what World Central Kitchen is here for, to support those as they end up here and then potentially continue their journey across the border to countries like Poland, Romania, and Hungary. Nate, such incredibly important work you and your teams are doing. Where else is World Central Kitchen operating to help with this humanitarian crisis? You mentioned a few places now. If you could just elaborate a little bit more. Sure. So we've been here since the very beginning on the border between Ukraine and Poland. We have teams all up and down the Polish border uh, preparing tens of thousands of meals every single day to refugees as they arrive into Poland. We're often the first meal that they've had after traveling for days. So we're supporting right on the border and also in the shelters, the accommodation centers where many families end up. We are also serving in Romania, Moldova, Hungary, and here in Ukraine, we've activated restaurants and partner chefs in cities, including Kharkiv and Kiev and Odessa as well. And then, of course, here in Lviv, where thousands and thousands of Ukrainians are showing up every day by train, by car and by bus. Well, we hope that you are staying safe because, again, you are doing very important work there. Um, security experts are saying that this war may last for years. Are there any plans for you and your organization to help feed Ukrainians in the long term if this war does, in fact, drag on? Well, that's really what we're working on right now. So we're working on setting up a humanitarian corridor between Poland and Ukraine. I think we were some of the first trucks to get through filled with food. We're starting to already see in Lviv shortages. Certain suppliers, food suppliers are running out. And, and this is the, the, the peaceful area. So you can imagine some of the other parts of Ukraine that are really being bombarded and being hit hard right now. And so this is really what we're focused on. How can we start to bring in a lot of food supplies, put them in warehouses, be ready to prepare potentially hundreds of thousands of meals a day. We're working closely with the World Food Program and other UN agencies, the US government, and of course the Ukrainian and Polish governments to start to build this capacity, knowing that this may drag on for weeks, months, hopefully not years, but this is going to be a major, major humanitarian catastrophe that the world is facing right now. Uh, it is. Nate Mook, thank you again so much to, your, to you and your team and for your time there. Stay safe. Thanks, Nate. Thank you.